All right, welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Today's episode is going to be really freaking exciting because we're going to be learning another unforgivable spell today. So, uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's just get right into it. Good. Yeah, I love doing Sebastian missions. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them. So I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. But I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. Who's the, uh, who's the student that they're talking about? I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. All right, student report. Uh... Uh. All right, interesting. I'm interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. For some reason, it's like uh, giving me like. Like, maybe, like, the student is, like, ominous, but I doubt it. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Maybe a relative? All right, what do we have here? Where are we going to be facing off? Ooh, okay. All right, so we're going to be facing off against spiders, as a matter of fact. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Come over here. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, it's gonna be a piece of cake if they're gonna be going down this easy. Oop. At least now we know we're not alone here. Yeah? Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Accio! We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Uh what is the chest? Alright, that's not too bad. All right, so I guess we gotta use this one. Bring this bad boy over here. There we go. This room is taller than it looks. Revelio. The lower chest. Chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. It's giving me like really creepy vibes. See, Sebastian is actually helpful. He actually fights alongside me. What am I doing? There we go. What do we have over here? I nearly slipped there. Jesus, what's up with all these spiders? As a matter of fact, come over here. There we go. No, that's not what we're trying to do. No. Oh, there we go. Oh, it hit both of them. Nice. All this grass. It no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion and ran into problems, often cave-ins, and then were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Hold on. I should have, uh... Yeah, I should have sold a couple things before starting off this mission. I should have known. Uh, now I gotta, like, you know, destroy a couple items. 
Uh, let's take care of the blue ones, actually. I don't think uh, I'm going to be needing these at all. I want to make room for, like, more... Uh, more cosmetics that I probably won't be using. Oh, yeah. These hats, like, I've never used any of these hats at all. I don't think I need that. We just get it down to uh, 30, maybe. There we go. All right, nice. Rebellion. Was that it? Oh, there's another one over here. Oh, there's a little uh, little bag right there. You you always got to make sure you get all the coins in this game. You know, it's, it's definitely worth it. Especially for me, since I'm going broke. I uh, essentially went to like different uh, vendors and started buying a bunch of brooms that I honestly didn't even need and uh, yeah the prices uh, ended up uh, stacking up a lot. I almost lost all my money there. <laughs> Looked like a boss room. This is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. You know what this reminds me There's of? Something here by the altar. What? Revelio. Oh. What did you find? Now I'm honestly way more curious on who the student is. Like, there's probably a reason why they're not even, uh, you know, mentioning the name. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the great room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. Yeah, I think I know how to do this. Um, in certain, like, treasure vaults, there's, like, bones like these scattered around, and you normally have to pull them, like, to a location, and it makes, like, a little stairway or something, or, you know? Let me see if this works. Okay, there we go. I knew it. Alright, so, yeah. Yeah, um, with the whole uh, student situation thing, I keep thinking, like, maybe it's, like, a descendant of Ominous, maybe? Or part of the same, uh, same, uh, family? Oh. Instant. Freaking spider right there. And I missed. Beautiful. Yeah, because those notes also look very old. All right, so there's more bones. Let's take these with us. All right, so yeah, we're making like a doorway. All right, let's see what we have here. We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. Yeah, you guys already know me. I got to explore everything. Got to make sure this is the bridge I was talking about. Hold on. What is that? More bones? Rebellion. What was that? Oh, it's just a 
money satchels aren't. Need to find a safe way across. Wait, as a matter of fact, hold on. With these, I think I should just use uh, Lumos. Uh, let me take care of this right there. Lumos. Use Lumos. There we go. I think I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to actually like reach that. Can I? No, I can't. All right. So, uh, how exactly am I gonna work this out? There we go. All right. Perfect. 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 Right, so let me see if putting them there. There we go. Lumos. Not too shabby. Accio. Revelio. What am I doing? Jesus. Lumos. There we go. Accio. Rickety Bone Bridge complete. It's also like very disrespectful just uh, stepping on a bunch of bones. Oh, this is going deeper. Holy crap. All right. Oh wow! Okay, so it's just bringing bringing us like back here, Rebellion. like all the way around. All right, I think uh, yeah, that was it. All right. Well, that was kind of pointless. <laughs> all right, let's check out the uh, other location. Yeah, we still gotta find a stack of bones or something. Oh, there they are. We're in two. There we go. As a matter of fact, let's uh just open these up real quick. Kind of satisfying. Is that it? Get that real quick. All right. You've done it. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Nice. Oh, wow. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Oh yeah, our boy coming through. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Alright, what do we have here? This seems pretty uh, easy for me. There we go. Like a four. There we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. As a matter of fact, I don't think I have them in any of my things. I think I removed the uh, unfor unforgivable curses. Jesus. Uh, let me put this one right there for the meantime. And that one, Crucio. All right, what do we have here? Let's actually try it out right now with this one. So if. Uh, it works. He should begin to attack the other spider for us. I guess that was kind of not really good. We ended up killing the other spider. Our test subject. Rebellion. That was that it. That was quite the test. Let's uh. Bring this away real quick. Let's see what's behind here. Rebellion. Nothing. Alright, so yeah, there's more over there. Yeah, I should be able to use it over here. Oh, there's a big one. Okay. Okay, let's uh go ahead with this one real quick. 
No, what are you doing? <laughs> Jeez, my aim is really freaking bad. Oh yeah, it is attacking the other spiders. That's cool. Oh, it also attacks me if I get in. Oh man, okay. Yeah, so if I get in range of the spider or the enemy that I used Imperio on, it will also attack me. All right. Very interesting to know. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of spiders right now. Turn this one into a barrel. Grab right, that one. There we go. Dramatic, isn't it? So I'm two spiders away from uh, completing the spider challenge of taking out like a hundred of them. Incendio. Oh, they're giving us a wagon weld. All right, so uh, yeah, you guys already know what that means. There's a boss on the way. Rebellion. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. All right, that was that. All right. Uh, yeah, I think there was like another doorway in the main room, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go for that real quick. There we go. Yep. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. How great is it? I try. All right. So wait. Oh, okay. Must be here. So let's pull that. Let's pull this. Oh, that one. Oh, okay. Oh, so oh, okay. So we might have to match it to the walls. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because I was gonna say I don't think we've seen any more bones or any more locations where bones could be around this area. So. Yeah, everything must be in this room then. All right, so uh, let's start off on this side. Uh, what do we have here? All right, so uh, the symbol is this circular. All right, so it's that one. Circular one, this one. That worked. Keep going. All right, the second one would be the little, uh, I don't even know what the symbols are called. I've seen that one before. I don't know if I've seen it in Assassin's Creed or not, but I've seen it before. Uh, let's see. Accio. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We can tag team that. Wait, I was going to say, didn't we do just uh, this one? But nah, it's completely different. Let's try that one. There we go. Wait, hold on. Honestly, out of curiosity, I want to do the last one. Uh, so it's this one. Probably going to be like another spider or something. Is it? Oh, no, it's a chest. You 
You are head and shoulders above these bows. Nicely done. Revelio. Yeah, okay, that was him. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. I feel like it wasn't going to be that easy. Yeah, I want to try it on the big one. Let's see uh, how much damage it actually makes against uh, the other ones. It was crucial on this one. Oh, yeah, they're going pretty great. Oh, man, it actually killed it. Holy crap. All right, so it's uh, not under the uh, Imperial spell anymore. So uh, I'm to actually fight it. All this blood. Accio. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Revelio. Okay, so yeah, it's like a dark relic then. All right, so uh, oh, it's right there. You know what that reminds me of? Um, what are they called? Holocrons? Yeah, holocrons from uh, Star Wars, the uh, Sith holocrons. They look identical to this. Oh yeah, that looks very uh, very creepy. Sebastian, the relic. Look. Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea. But we're here for the relic. Yeah, it's a... Uh... It's kind of risky taking it, I'm not going to lie, but uh, I feel like we really don't have any other choice in the matter, right? So, um, like, I know, like, the right decision would be just leave it, because, I mean, nothing good could come from it if, like, even then they didn't want to take the relic, but I don't know, man. I feel like he's still going to take it either way. Um, Let's go, let, let's be a good friend just for now, because I I feel like either way he's gonna take it. Let's be a good friend and just uh, let's leave it. The note advises to leave the relic alone. I assure you, we were meant to find this. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Yeah, I let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially for my uncle. Hey, at least if uh, if Amna says it. That can't be ominous, dude. Like, oh my god. I was gonna say, if ominous says anything, at least I tried to convince him not to take it. Is this ominous? Hold on. Is that <laughs> ominous? It is. Holy shit. Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please. Leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. 
I was glad to hear you tell Sebastian to leave the relic. We need to stand together. Convince Sebastian this is wrong. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Yeah, at this point in time, nothing will change uh, Sebastian's mind at all, in my personal opinion. I think he's, uh, he's in a sense, already too far gone in this, uh, in this storyline. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. I'll take him a while to Sebastian, get back uh, we're ready. out the catacombs. Holy crap. It? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. Yeah, I really feel bad for uh, Ominous, you know, because uh, well, in a sense, he keeps agreeing to all this, like but, that. you know. Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance. That the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. Yeah, like I was saying, I feel like we're just, uh, like, like... I we're taking Ominous a fool, like Ominous. he said. He just doesn't understand. And I did want to worry him all over again. You know, because, like, we keep uh, promising Ominous this and that, and then we just kind of go back on our word with that, you know? I feel bad, but at the same time, uh, I'm pretty happy with getting all these uh, unforgivable uh, curses, so there's that. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important. Not that we're going to be able to take our brooms over there. Guess we're running it. Wait, why is there smoke over there? Holy crap. As a matter of fact, uh, let me actually try uh, and uh, fast traveling over there. Can we? Oh, we can't. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, we got to run it over there. I assume maybe the goblins attacked? Holy crap. It's the entire freaking village, dude. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. <laughs> oh, boy, hasn't noticed the smoke. No, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke! Over there, by the hamlet! Velkov's in trouble! They're under attack! Let's hurry. Easily diverted. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, this is getting the- is that the uncle? Yeah, it is, alright. Oh man, the sister, uh, is going crazy right there, Jesus. What happened to the chomping cabbages that were supposed to protect this, uh, this town? The ones I, uh, I got for this town on the side mission. Yeah, so if you guys don't know, there's a side mission where you have to, like, rescue some kidnapped cabbages, because, uh, they're meant to protect the town, but, uh, I guess they didn't really work out. <laughs> Appears on one of these. See how that works out compared to like a spider. Oh, there it goes. Got it. 
Wait. Sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. Yeah, that was gonna be pretty tough. I feel like uh, even if, uh, let's say, he didn't use Imperius on, uh, on the Goblin, and the Goblin did kill Anne, I feel like the uncle would have still blamed him. So, uh, so that's a pretty sticky situation right there. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think, uh, I think we're gonna be siding with Sebastian on this one because I don't think the uncle would have uh, been okay either way. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. I'm still wondering what happened with those uh, freaking chomping cabbages that I uh, ended up getting. Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic, even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? Yeah, this one was a tough one. I'm not going to lie, you know, because Sebastian is a hothead and I do feel bad because we are going a down dark path with Sebastian. But, you know, he wants to save his sister. The only thing that really matters to him. And I feel like any person would go to like hard extents to really take care of the person that they care about and try to like help them. But yeah, he's going, you know, going about it the wrong way in a sense, right? And then I feel like the uncle is a straight up narcissist. You know, he uh, he doesn't like to take the blame for anything. He's been pushing Sebastian away all this time, and he expects Sebastian to be this like good kid that you know, you know, is just doing great all the time. When you know the, the uncle essentially blames him for everything. So yeah, it's a very hard choice right here, right now, to really side with either of them. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep siding with Sebastian for the meantime. Uh. I feel like, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I feel like he's already too far gone uh, down this path to to really stop him now. He took the relic even when we tried to stop him, so there's that. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be ending the video here. This one was a really long one for uh, a little, uh, you know, side uh, storyline mission. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace.